I'm about to head into Aldi and do all my grocery shopping for the week. I've got $40 today. Hopefully I can stick to this budget. I've got some staples I've got to pick up, some fresh produce, some milk, things like that. Hopefully the egg prices aren't too crazy. So let's head inside and see what we can find. Here is my list today. I have not finished my meal plan for the week. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, fly by the seat of my pants this week. Oh my gosh. Strawberries are still $1.39. What? Okay, let's get a couple. Perfect. I just walked in and I'm going off list. 45 cents for carrots for two pounds. Let's get some of those. I love carrots. Ooh, $2.29 for blackberries. Okay, that's not a bad price. Ah, there's the cabbage. 29 cents a pound. We just need one. Get a nice big one. Mark it off the list. All right, let's get some ginger, $1.49. I want to make some, I don't know what the ginger was for. What, are the, what am I getting ginger for? Oh yeah, <laughs> tea. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. And for soup, radishes for 49 cents. Yum. Oh, and Roma tomatoes on the Aldi Savers for 49 cents a pound. Let's get a couple of those for sure. I want to make some sandwiches and maybe some... I don't know, salsa. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's just get three. What is next? Ooh, my favorite cereal. All right, I think I'll get a box. $2.75 for this one. We're going way off list already. Okay, let's get bread next. Probably buttermilk bread for $2.35. Ooh, they have potato bread too. I really like this buttermilk bread. Next, let's go see how much those eggs are. Oh, I'm kind of dreading the price. <laughs> hey, $2.98. It's coming down. Yay. Let's check the brown eggs, too. Oh, the brown eggs are more expensive today. Okay, let's just get the regular ones. I need two dozen. Give them a wiggle and a jiggle. Make sure they're not broken or stuck to the bottom. Wiggle, jiggle, wiggle, jiggle. Next, I need organic milk. I like this one here for 4 19 so let's get that one. I love the expiration date is so much longer on these two, so if we don't drink it right away, it'll last. It's good until April 3rd, and today is what, March 13th or something? Okay, sorry, pardon me. Same price as always. Almost forgot the orange juice, 3 29 one that's not all sticky. They all are kind of sticky. Let's make sure the lids are good. Okay, looks pretty good. Their cheeses are such a good price. Look, $5.49 for this, for Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite cheese. I don't need any today. It's not in the budget. I'm not making pasta. We do need cheese though. Baby bell cheese. I just saw these at Bonds for twice the price. $3.09 here at Aldi. I'm gonna get two today. My kids have been really digging it. Okay, next I need avocado oil, $5.65. I love it. Oh, look, they added the smoke point, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm always saying that. Get an oil with a high smoking point. This is such a great price too. Can't find this anywhere else at this price. Next, I'll get some ground turkey. This ground turkey is $2.75 for the pound, and I just have to plan ahead and freeze it, or thaw it in the refrigerator. Next, I want to get hash browns for $3.99. Not a great price, but they're delicious. Oh, let's wait till I go on sale, but I don't know. It's going to melt if I leave it there, huh? If this isn't the cutest, Honey Bunny Trail Mix, $3.99. They have two different kinds. Oh my gosh, I would love to get this for a, a basket stuffer, but we don't need it. I already bought a bunch. <laughs> okay, I wanted to get some unsweetened applesauce for zucchini bread, and I don't need it to be a giant container like these ones. It's not a bad price though, $3.19. This is seven cents per ounce, and this one is on sale and it's 8.2 cents per ounce. And this way I won't waste, so I'll just get this unsweetened applesauce for my zucchini bread for $1.95. Oh my goodness, I have never seen a big bag of jasmine rice like this here at the Aldi. $5.89 for 80 ounces. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite. I don't know if I can resist. I think I'm gonna have to get one. 
normally I get the small container, but it's a little bit more pricey. So this is a better deal. Let's definitely get one. Make sure it doesn't have any holes in it. Oh my gosh, definitely going over budget today. Okay, I have never seen white wine vinegar before. It's two seventy nine. dollars I have it next to the balsamic and the red wine vinegar. White wine vinegar. Why have I never seen this before? Perfect for marinades and dressings. I feel like I want to get it. Like a white wine vinaigrette? Is that a thing? All right, let's try it. What's the point of having a list if I'm not going to follow it? I don't know. We're going crazy today. Two seventy nine. dollars White wine vinegar. Two seventy nine. dollars Oh my gosh, I just spent an arm and a leg at Sprouts the other day for organic apple cider vinegar for, I don't even remember, it was like six, I mean it was four dollars for like a small container, but this one is 33 ounces for four ninety nine. and it's organic. I should always come to Aldi first. And next I need peanut butter. Finally ran out. Let's see what we're going to get. Let's see, what's this? Oh, almond butter. I've never seen the almond butter here. Three seventy nine for that. Let's get, so what is this? Peanut butter spread with 90% peanuts, and they have this organic creamy peanut butter, unsweetened for $4.49. Oh, the choice is a little expensive. Is that sriracha? They have sriracha here. What? $3.79 for that. I have not seen sriracha. The color looks a little bit different than usual. I have not seen sriracha at a lot of places recently. I actually feel like I'm almost out, so I'm going to grab one for $3.79. Is that a good price? I don't remember. I was way off on the price on the peanut butter. I thought I was going to spend like $2.50, but I kind of want this organic one, which is just peanuts and sea salt. I could probably make my own for cheaper. I just saw that you can just blend up peanuts and make peanut butter. So, um, you know what? I'm going to give that a shot and see how that goes first. So let's go get some peanuts. Next is ketchup. Yes, we go through a lot of ketchup. This organic ketchup is two fifteen, dollars though. Let me get one from down here. Let me see if I can get one from the bottom. I just don't like the ones on top because they get sticky. They fall on the floor. Let's make sure it's nice and tidy, though. I don't want to mess it up. Nice and tidy. Okay, looks perfect. Okay. And this one's great because there is um, just sugar in it. No... Um, high fructose corn syrup or any of that stuff. So I like this one. Just vinegar, salt, tomato, sugar. Just what's in ketchup. So two fifteen for this one. I don't know how much a cup of peanuts makes. This is going to be what two cups of peanuts for two twenty five. That's sixteen ounces. So will it make two cups of peanut butter? I don't know. Let's get these dry, roasted, unsalted. We will eat these too if I can't turn them into peanut butter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that's got to be it for today. I don't want to buy a whole lot of other stuff. Let's see if I even have room in my cart. <laughs> okay, here is everything. Let's go see how much I went over budget. And this is what happens when I don't stick to my list. $68.35 today. Wow, that was so way over budget. I got my food processor. I've got my peanuts. We're gonna give this a try and hopefully it wasn't a mistake. Cross your fingers. I am not sure if I'm supposed to use raw peanuts or roasted. I'm gonna try roasted first then and see how it goes. There was nothing. Oh boy. Okay. It's not quite big enough. All right, well, let's start by blending this and then adding more, I think, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Lock it into place. I don't know if this thing is gonna make it. Do you see what's happening here? I don't know. All right, here is how it looks so far. It's been a couple of minutes. Looks like peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter. Let's keep going. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna overheat. Wow, look at that. Looks like peanut butter. I bet we could go even further. Okay, my food processor is starting to get a little bit overheated because it's been about 10 minutes or so blending. So uh, I think we're going to stop there for now and give it a little break and then maybe I'll go a little longer. But have a look. That's peanut butter. Look. Ah, it's drippy. I'm just going to add a touch of sea salt. <laughs> 
And I just realized that you could make peanut butter with no sodium in it, or low sodium at least, because I don't know if there's sodium in peanuts, but uh, that is really rad. That's a good little life hack. Have peanut butter without any salt in it. I bet I could even get it creamier if I wanted to. I'm just afraid of overheating the food processor. It turned out so, so good. I'm gonna store it in a mason jar in the refrigerator. I'm hoping it'll last a couple months, although we're probably gonna eat it before then, and I'm not sure the exact shelf life. Now, I decided to go ahead and make some straw strawberry preserves because I did not have any on hand, and I would love to know if you know any way to use the tops of strawberries. I've heard of some things, but if y'all know any methods to use up those scraps, let me know because I've never used them up before. So I used the ball canning guide to get a recipe because I've never made preserves before. I just used half a cup of sugar, which is half the amount it recommended for two cups of strawberries because I'm just making a little bit. We don't eat a ton of preserves, which is why I didn't have any idea we didn't have any, but I, preserve, I prefer preserves over jam or jelly. So I'm just going to boil that with the sugar and the strawberries until it reaches 220, where it's the gel stage, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. So I just used a candy thermometer and a regular thermometer to see, and then I kind of did this like drip test, I think it's called. I'm not 100% sure how to even tell if it's right or wrong, but that turned out really delicious. But my favorite part about all this is I made a peanut butter with less sodium and a strawberry preserve with less sugar. And I cannot believe I did not know how to do these things. And I am definitely going to be doing this again. I cut everybody's into fun shapes using a cookie cutter, of course. And we just had a fun little dinner. Super easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to join me on my next video. I'll see you next time. Mine is a triangle. Ooh, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm.